Hey guys, welcome back. We are here with an update and a reminder with regards to BoxyCharm for the month of February and March choice. Let's start off with March choice. It's going to take place on February 8th, which is next Monday at 12 p.m. If you log into your BoxyCharm account and you see that choice is not live, just kind of let's let's try to be a little bit of patient and wait and see because sometimes their system is a little slow and or has some glitches so i would say just wait usually it'll be up around 12 30 worst case scenario but yes you're going to be able to make your choice for all three tiers regardless of what tier you get you will get a choice on monday the 8th so if you get base you will make a choice for base if you get lux you will make a choice for lux and if you get premium you will make a choice for for premium. If you get Lux and premium, you're going to make a choice for both. And if you are a Luxer for the first time, do not expect to make a choice for base unless you open a separate base box account. Unfortunately, the BoxyCharm system does not have the capacity to open a base box subscription along with the Lux at the very same time. We've been in Zoom meetings. We've asked Joe whether or not this is a possibility. They've looked into it, but it's not something that we can do right now. So if you want a base box choice, you're gonna have to open a second account. But I know you guys are wondering like, do I need all three boxes? Do I need premium or do I need base? Which one do you think I need? I'm going to give you guys my best answer in this video. As an individual who receives PR from BoxyCharm but also has active subscriptions, I can honestly tell you that I think every single tier has so much value for the amount of money that you are paying for it. However, I understand that it's very hard to please everyone. So in a specific box, there may be certain items that you really, really want, but unfortunately, you don't know if you're going to be able to get or not because it's kind of like a gamble, right? And so the beauty of subscription boxes, it is your choice whether or not you want to pay for them. What's really awesome about BoxyCharm is that they've created their pop-up store as well as their add-ons events. And in those, you're able to purchase the items that you know for sure that you absolutely want. So say for instance, you get your base box because you can't afford a premium box. And I feel like so many people are in that same boat right now where they can't afford Lux and they can't afford premium and don't feel bad about it. It is what it is. We are in a crazy place in this world right now. And it's perfectly fine to say, I cannot afford to pay for all the other ones, but I can only afford my base right now. If that is the case for you, but you want an item that is being featured in the other tiers, what's amazing is that BoxyCharm is able to provide you those items at a really reduced price through their events. Now on February 8th, at the same time that Choice launches, they will be launching their pop-up store. Within that store, they're gonna have a series of items at a drastically reduced price. Everything is up to 80% off. However, you may find items that are being featured in other tiers that you're not paying for. That's an opportunity to not pay a full $25, $30 more, $35 more for another tier and just snag that particular item you had your heart set on. So for instance, there were so many people who responded to my comment on me getting an additional Fenty Beauty powder just at a different shade because when I received mine, it was just way too deep for me. So I did go on to the add-on store and I snagged this baby for a huge discount. I think I paid like 12 or 16 bucks for it or something like that, but that's nothing compared to what the regular price would be. And so, so many people said, I have only base but I was able to go in and just purchase that one item that I wanted which was the Fenty Beauty powder. So I'm saying all of this to say that I can understand that you can't afford every single one and you're just not sure whether or not you should go with base, premium, or lux. It's really up to you and it's really up to what you can afford. But do keep in mind, if you can only afford a $25 box or the $35 box, but you want certain items or an item that is being featured in a separate tier, you can always look into the events that they host every single month in order to find that particular item at a really reduced cost. 
That's what I would say. If you can't afford all three of them, you can't afford two of them, do not put yourself in a situation where you're gonna be financially uncomfortable just because you feel like you need that one item. You can always just maintain your active base subscription and just snag those additional items that you really had your heart set on. So mark your calendars. I've said it several times already. <laughs> February 8th, it is a Monday and it's launching approximately at 12 p.m. Eastern time. Now let's move on to spoilers, which have been updated. I've been on social media checking things out. You know how we do, right? Because we're always like checking things out. Now, the February theme is XOXO, totally appropriate for Valentine's month, which is awesome. And Valentine's Day is next week, which I just feel like we just entered February, but next week we're like midway in the month. It's insane. I've already done so many spoiler videos updating you guys for February, March, as well as everything that we know thus far coming in 2021. If you haven't checked them out, make sure you check the description box. I'm gonna link them down below for you. But amongst those, now we have a little bit more clarity as to what to expect in our boxes. I'm looking at my phone right now, sorry, right? I'm looking at my phone, but you will be able to see it here on screen. BoxyCharm posted a photo on their feed on Instagram, and it says that premium boxes will contain a variation of the following items, which means that you're gonna get one of the following items, not all of them. You're gonna get either the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir 24K Moisturizing Gel Cream, or one of the three Huda Beauty Pastel Obsessions Eyeshadow Palette. The three that they have, which will be rotated, is either Rose, Mint, or Lilac. So if you end up getting a palette, you're gonna get one of the three, not all three palettes in your box. Or you may get the Glam Glow Super Mattify Six Acid Clarifying Face Primer. Honestly, I feel like out of those three items, most people have commented saying they really want the primer, the Glam Glow Primer. I'm pretty curious about it. I'd be happy with either of the three. I think all three items are amazing. I'm actually hoping though that the items show up on pop-up just so that just in case say that you really want the primer but you don't know if you're gonna get it or not then at least you can get it on pop-up no matter what you know you're securing that primer you know so but the, it's either one of those three for premium we finally have a few spoilers for the february base box which i feel like everyone was sitting here saying like what is going on where are the base box spoilers and yes i feel like premium has been highlighted a lot more even the pop-up event has been highlighted a lot more and then base spoilers are being left for like a last minute i'm not sure whether it's a bad thing or a good thing i really don't have an opinion on that either way we do have new spoilers the following items i'm going to mention are either or these will be a variation so you're either going to get one or the other we are looking at two skincare items the first one is the saturday skin yuzu vitamin c sleep mask or the tula soul poreless deep exfoliating blackhead scrub since these were not choice items for the month of february we know that it's going to be a little surprise when we open our boxes if i end up getting tula i will be giving that away <laughs> passing it on to someone else because i break out from tula there's something that my face rejects and i feel like my face and i my skin we have become friends again, like besties, you know, whereas a month ago we were frenemies because I was breaking out so bad a few months ago. So I like, I like where my skin is at. I like how clear it is and I'm going to keep it that way. So I'll skip on the Tula product if I end up getting it. But if I get Saturday skin, then that's absolutely amazing. It has a lemon on the top. So I'm assuming it has like a little bit of a citrusy scent. As long as it doesn't smell like oranges, I'm a-okay with that product. We have yet another base box spoiler. Now, I don't know if this is going to be an item that's standard in everyone's box or it'll be a product variant because no one has mentioned it, but the brand Glamier actually posted this product on their Insta stories and they actually captioned it Glamier X BoxyCharm. And then to add to that spoiler, Johnny on the Go actually showed a part 
of that product as well, stating that it is a spoiler for base. Now he does say that the little roll contains four beautiful items within the actual roll and based on the Glammy Air post. These are the four items. It's just a four piece brush set. The handles are really, really pretty, I must tell you. But other than that, it's a brush set that will be coming to base boxes. Another spoiler for premium, which I believe, I believe is going to be a variant, is a Tarte product. The little purple box from my picture from like another spoiler. I was like, I don't even know what it is because I just, I honestly didn't know. It was like a purple-ish box, but there was black on it too. So everyone was under the assumption it would be a Tartist mascara, specifically the Lights Camera Action. I think it's called Lights Camera Action Mascara. It's not the mascara. I figured it wouldn't be the mascara because I feel like they've featured that before somewhere, maybe. But either way, it is not the mascara. It is an eyeliner. It's a dual ended eyeliner. And to be specific, it is the Tardis Double Take Eyeliner. I believe it's gonna be in the shade black. I've owned that, it's actually pretty good. So it's a dual ended one, it's very long lasting. It has a cold pencil you can apply, it's retractable as well. You can apply it on your waterline and then you have like a felt tip which you can like create a wing. And that spoiler confirmation came from Johnny who is Johnny on the go over on Instagram. He's part of the BoxyCharm social team so he did a spoiler and I have a screenshot of it here. Joe recently went on to his Insta stories. He was traveling internationally and gave us an update. I will put it here on screen for you guys. But the long and short of it is, you know that Glow Recipe Plump Serum that I've been talking to you guys about for quite some time now? In case you forgot, it's this one here on screen. It is the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum with deep hydration and glow. That serum right there, right? So he shared in his stories that every single member will be receiving one of these. You remember the serum from Glow Recipe? Everyone's getting it in Lux. And lastly, Johnny showed one item. He did it so fast. I do have a screen recording of it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna overlap it here on this video, allow you guys to see it for yourselves, and then I'm gonna slow it down and see whether or not I can clearly get a snippet of what the product could be. Either way, I have no idea what in the world it is because the packaging is like silver and reflective at the same time, which makes it even difficult. But I will slow it down. If I can figure it out, I'm out of here on screen. If I can't figure it out, then I'm gonna rely on you guys to help me try to narrow down what you guys think that particular item could be. Mm, do you want me to show you again? I'm gonna show you all this last time. This is gonna be in premium. That's it, premium, that's it. Okay guys, that is a wrap for this video. What are you guys looking forward to the most? Honestly, I didn't make any choices for my boxes, so I'm just like gonna wait and see what happens. I wanna be completely surprised. Also, you guys were saying that you miss Ty so, so much and her unboxings here because she's like sassy and spunky and she's definitely like a little mini me, just without a filter, you know? At least I've learned to filter myself. So I ended up purchasing a base box for her for the month of February. That one of course does not have a choice selection either. So hers will be random, mine will be random. And we're just gonna go ahead and box that here on this channel for you guys. And you're gonna get her first impression. So you're gonna get a mother daughter boxy charm unboxing. We'll see how that goes. And if you guys like it, then we can continue to do it. And if you don't like it, then I totally get it. But either way, just look forward to that because you guys have been requesting that and it's coming this month. Just, just, just wait for it. Let me know down below what your opinion is on everything that you've seen in this video today are you looking to shop pop-up or not let me know down below i'd like to hear your thoughts make sure you check out the videos that are coming here on screen there are more spoilers unboxings product reviews first impressions and try-ons i know you're gonna absolutely love and i'll see you guys real, real soon bye guys